Most every city has its own Bill Haywood, but our Bill Haywood was Bill Haywood. Haywood and his morning radio show crew were a unique brand of real comp. They served plenty of biting but hysterical political and social com magazine gave Haywood the honor of the nation's number one radio personality award in three different years. He was not only successful, but he gave back. A long list of charities benefited from his and his wife Susan's volunteer efforts, and he was so admired by many in and out of media. I grew up with Bill Haywood. I'm one of those fans. Bill and Susan Haywood died tragically this past week. Police say they believe it was a double suicide. This won't be the place to speculate about why such respected and loved people chose to face death together in a Scottsdale hotel room. But think about this, though. Maybe the guy whose sunny banter flows out of your radio as it clicks on each morning is someone you take for granted. But if you wake up and drive to work every day with that guy, well, by the end of the year, you'll have spent more time with him than with many of your relatives. Bill Haywood was known and appreciated by sound and by sight. He was a staple of many television commercials, by tens of thousands. He rightfully belongs in the pantheon of the Valley of the Sun because his love for this place in everything he did helped make living here unique and special and better than other places. I only wish that more of us had expressed that to him and to his wife because this is a less special place now that they are gone. I'm Mark Scarp, and that's On The Mark. Want more? Read my column this Sunday and every Sunday in the East Valley Tribune.